Ez, we're back. We're dropping some eaves. We meant to. Don't help us pick them up. They're down there for a reason. Right. We dropped them on purpose. Um, we're not picking them up. Don't tell us to pick those eaves up. Do you understand right. me? I, 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 yeah. Leave them well, there. I'm not talking to you. It's again. Oh, uh, we're back in the. <laughs> I can't even. I don't even know how to put one into. I can't. Okay. <laughs> I have, You made a bold prediction. All right. Yeah. Ismael as our fire was on. Yeah. The yeah. last king of Numenor and the golden eyes. Mm -hmm. He does have golden eyes. Have you noticed that? Like, is yeah, that? I don't is he going to play Bond sometime soon? <laughs> oh, Lord. It doesn't make any sense. Okay. Here's my bold prediction. Gosh, I'm getting goosebumps, dude. Ooh, this is great. Oh, my gosh. Let me bring out my notes. <laughs> here's my bold prediction. Is. Yeah. Morfith. Morfith Clark. Mm -hmm. I know I'm saying that wrong. It's a Welsh name. It is beautiful. Okay. Beautiful mm -hmm. name. Mm -hmm. Morfith Clark. We'll play Gladriel. Yeah. That's my bold prediction. I like it. That's that's bold. That was already released though, wasn't it? Like they well, confirmed that. I what was it? Shh. Yeah. Okay. Well, uh, let me You gonna call an it. audible? I mean That's yeah. embarrassing. Can we stop this video? Uh let me let me okay. Let me play off this a little bit, all right? Yeah, sure, sure. Let me play off this a little bit. See what you can do. So we were talking previously about anchors, all right? We only know one confirmed character so far. I think we have some other um, character names, but they're not necessarily – they're created characters, right? So yeah. only one known confirmed character who is Galadriel. Morfith Clark is playing Galadriel, right, yes. which is very yeah. exciting. We've seen pictures and videos of her before. Not many people knew who she was because she's been in – I don't know, like smaller things. I don't even know if that's true necessarily, but um, she's like an up and coming young, talented actress. Looks a lot like Kate Blanchett. So, I mean, that's obviously excellent for continuity purposes, but it got me thinking as, and that yeah. wasn't actually my bold prediction. Okay. That was oh, a little bit of a, sure? are you sure? I'm, I'm going for an Oscar, but I don't think I'll ever get one. Where's yeah? Um, a little acting job because that was Tim. weak sauce. If that was, I mean, that was straight like. Wow, I'm just hey Thanks, hey man. hey hey. Appreciate that. <laughs> ketchup. It was ketchup. It, it wasn't was barbecue I'm sauce. Ah, right, come on now. So pour so, it on me. Pour it on me. <laughs> what what the the so what got me thinking about this is is that sets a precedent. All right, it's setting a precedent that Kate Blanche is not coming back. Yeah. All right. And if Kate Blanche is not coming back, neither is Hugo Weaving. Right, no. Mm -mm. Neither is Ian McKellen. No. I don't care what anyone says. No, 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 no. None no. of these characters who've been, who are ageless, who, who were present in the second age, um, none of those actors or actresses are coming back. We're mm -hmm. starting fresh, and we're going to find uh, actors and actresses that look like them and have talent, but we're not, we're moving forward, okay? And we're going to find younger versions because technically they kind of are younger even though elves are, you know, eternal or whatever. So right. here's my bold prediction. That sets a precedent. And I started thinking. I was like, okay, I started looking at the different actors and actresses. I'm like, who else could play a very significant character in the second age. Cause that's another bit of evidence we have. It's going to take place in the second age. It's what the, the rights that um, Amazon has attained. So we know that's where it's going to be plopped so we can search there for characters. So I started looking at the actors and actresses and I came across an individual. Okay. One of the confirmed actors, Daniel Wayman. Mm -hmm. I'm saying it as Daniel Wayman is Elrond. Okay. Daniel okay. Wayman is our new, El, or old, I guess, technically, right? Because we're going back in time. Our new, old, new to us, yeah, younger, old, older time, Elrond. Okay? Got it. Got it. Now, we speculated way back, way back when, um, oh my gosh, you know how you like it? You're so focused that you blank on stuff. Uh -huh. yeah, yeah. You know when yeah. that happens? I know. Um, I, 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 yeah. That Will yeah. Poulter, Will Poulter had been cast. That's right. Right? And we thought, oh my gosh, he can't be anyone. I think I remember texting you as soon as we 
you know, as soon as uppers alerted us to uh, alerted us to this casting that like, I was like, bro, th- he's going to be Elrond. No question. Right. No, no question. He's Elrond. Like, look at him. And I had never realized how much he looks like Hugo Weaving. And even more so, look at younger pictures of Hugo Weaving and put them side by side with Will Poulter. Dead ringer. Dead mm-hmm. ringer. And if you've seen Will Poulter and anything else, he was actually a very young boy um, um, in Voyage of the Dawn Treader. He played Eustace Scrub, which is crazy. So he's been in the Narnia universe. And then as he's gotten older, he's taken on different roles. But my whole point is he's, he's shot up. So he's a tall guy as well. So you're like, oh my gosh, Elrond, right? Yeah. Something happened and Will Poulter dropped out of the show. Yes. And I remember being pretty devastated by that. Honestly, I was like, oh my gosh, that casting was spot on. But maybe something wasn't in the stars as, okay? Mm -hmm. Maybe something wasn't lined up. Now, after that, we got this huge dump of confirmed actors and actresses. I think at that point, it was like um, Markella Cavanaugh and Will Poulter and maybe like one other, maybe Dylan Smith, maybe one other person. It was like, we have no idea who these people are going to be. There's only three confirmed actors. Then... Loader on Prime dumped this, um, uh, all these headshots of confirmed actors and actresses, but not attached other than Morpheth to any character, all right, that we knew anyway. Now, Daniel's character has not been confirmed, um, but I am saying that Daniel is going to be Elrond. Now, the reason I'm calling him as Elrond is because I'm looking through these actors uh, I'm focusing on the actors because I'm thinking about, well, I'll tell you why in a minute, mm-hmm. but I'm thinking about, about male characters um, because I went through, well, let me just get yeah, Of all the male characters cast, he is easily the most similar in appearance to Hugo Weaving. All right. Yeah, Actually, yeah. you look at different pictures of him. You're like, wow. Okay. He looks not unlike Hugo Weaving. Yeah, like younger, you could put some. Even, yeah. Yeah, right? You could put some pointy ears on him, and for sure he's an Elrond. Absolutely. And you go to find out that he has a a really interesting background. He's he's a theater actor as well, uh, which Hugo Weaving, a lot of people don't know, is, was, began in theater, uh, not just strictly film and television, theater actor. So that that background is very rich and runs through a lot of – of the actors and actresses cast in Lord of the Rings and con- and subsequently and consequently whatever afterwards the Hobbit so a theater background uh, so he's got some chops man all that to say he's got some chops but he's also been in 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 uh, some more well known shows television movies uh, I think Foil Foils War is one okay. and I believe it's a uh, it's it's jumping to mind because I think my mom has watched this so I need to ask her if she's seen this and seen Daniel. Um, yeah. Now, if you go search Daniel Wayman on YouTube, you're going to get a uh, like a strongman competitor, believe it or not, who yeah. <laughs> uh, apparently yeah. has more <laughs> has more content out there than uh, than our Daniel. So um, he's kind of hard to find unless you've watched shows or movies he's been in. It's hard to find clips of just him just by searching his name. You probably throw actor in afterwards, but I'm not a real smart guy. I didn't do that. Mm-hmm. So mm-hmm. anyway, the reason I came to this conclusion, okay. <sighs> Elrond is a big player as yes. in the second age. Yep. So big, in fact, that he is one who I think you could almost say comes of age and grows up in the second age. This sure. dude, and I, this is crazy because I never really dug into Elrond's past. I knew that he had been around a long time. I knew he was at the last alliance of men and elves. Like, that's cool. Yeah, cast him in fire, destroy it. You know, I was there. I told him didn't listen to me. I'm not going to kill him to take the ring because that's not the right thing to do. I'm a great guy. Wise had been there for a long time. I also knew that, you know, Galadriel's his mother-in-law. So they, they, there's that relationship there. I also knew that he was half elven, Yeah. Uh, that he chose his elven lineage, whereas his brother Elros chose the, uh, the, the lineage of man. And he right. actually went on, I believe, fact check me, because this is just memory and it's a little spotty. Um, yeah. I think that the uh, the waffle sauce is starting to get to me a little bit. Shameless plug there. <laughs> waffle sauce, rusty rail. It's, it's delicious as it's got me in the spirit. Okay. I'm, I'm fired up if you can't yeah. tell. But Elros went on to be the first king of Numenor. Is that right? King of Numenor. Yeah. There you go. Okay. So 
also really cool when you consider that Elrond's twin brother, Elros, went on to found Numenor, which would lead to the descendancy of Aragorn. So that's kind of interesting. It all kind of ties together, right? But he comes of age. And one of the biggest things about um, Elrond, I learned in doing some of this, uh, some of this um, research, right? One of the very few who senses Anatar's deceitful nature. Let's, Let's go. go Ez. So wow. one of very few, I believe the other one was Gilgalad, yes. actually. Yeah. So Gilgalad, who we know, falls at the battle against Sauron in the last alliance of men and elves. But essentially who Elrond was, was he was Gilgalad's right-hand man. Like yeah. he was essentially his, not his page, I don't want to make it sound like demeaning or belittling of who Elrond was, but he was very close to Gilgalad, right? So yeah. we're also going to, um, uh, um, that also leads me to think who's going to play Gilgalad. Like we're going to have Gilgalad in the show, absolutely. If we've got yes. Galadriel and her importance in the second age, and if, I, if my prediction is correct that Daniel will be Elrond, a younger Elrond, then we've got to have Gilgalad as well. So in the second age, he senses Anatar's deceitful nature. All right. He's Gilgalad's right-hand man. And we know that the second age leads all the way to that final battle. So that relationship is one that, that we could follow throughout the second age. However, we decide to do that. Well, we'll talk right. about that more in uh, episode one predictions. He founds Imladris. Mm -hmm. He does. We can see the founding of Rivendell, right? That's a pretty dang big event in Middle Earth. If this show spans the extent of the second age, we're going to see the founding of Imlogis. We're going to see the... Can you imagine seeing I'm Rivendell? getting fired up. I'm getting fired Rivendell up. Rivendell built as... <laughs> so, and we could see Elrond laying stones and, and working with elves to build this. And, and the significance there, too, is I believe... I can't remember exactly. Please correct me if I'm wrong. But I believe that Elrond was at the fall of Gondolin. That might be wrong. But the check. association think, yeah. with, okay, fact check me on that, please. The association with Gondolin being this hidden, impenetrable fortress and him going on to found Imladris, Rivendell, this ha safe haven and hidden valley from darkness is very profound. All right. So, um, yeah, all that to say. Elrond has to be present in the second age. He's too important of a player. He's too important of a figure to be absent. So therefore I'm thinking that that's sort of what led me to this, um, this prediction is one of these actors, if it's, if, if we have Galadriel confirmed, right? Morpheth is Galadriel. Mm -hmm. And if we have Elrond, who's also an incredibly important figure in the second age, right? Big time stuff we're talking about. So if Morpheth is confirmed as Galadriel, one of these actors has to be, has to be. Has Elrond. to be. Has to be. And I went through and I looked at these actors. That's why I was looking at the actors, not the actresses yet. Come on. And I thought, which one of these young men or old men or just men in general, whatever, could play Elrond? It's him. Not only – it's got to be him. It's not him. only the way he looks, but also his history of – having acting chops and i i landed on daniel and i believe in daniel i think daniel wayman is going to be elrond and i think he's going to be fantastic and i fell in love as come on I fell in love with will poulter the idea of will poulter being elrond sure but you know i gotta tell you it was based purely on the on the incredible yeah the the, the similarity physical visual similarity between the two like the likeness right. is right. remarkable like are they clones is he a clone of of elrond of, of um hugo weaving i don't right, know maybe right. maybe he's actually his dad <laughs> he's not but right. <laughs> i fell in love with that aspect not necessarily his abilities as an actor and i think he's a fine actor i think he's Absolutely. great but i have to think back to my favorite character of all time all right my favorite actor of all time Viggo Mortensen. Yeah. Viggo Mortensen was like a third, fourth, fifth choice for Aragorn. He was a Hail Mary, right? They wanted Daniel Day-Lewis. Daniel Day-Lewis wouldn't do it. Did you know that? I did not know that. Wow. They wanted nice. Daniel. Peter Jackson and his team wanted Daniel Day-Lewis as Aragorn, which would have been an incredible interpretation. But, no, nah, I don't want him. Wow. Then they, then they cast Stuart Townsend. Get into it. Realize 
Stewart's kind of young. Mm-hmm. Will Poulter, also younger than Daniel. Just throwing that out there. Yes, he Interesting is. parallel. Mm-hmm. They say, Stewart, we're going to have to fire you from the role of Aragorn. Stewart goes, all right, wow. Nice, there goes my career. There and goes. really, sadly, it kind of did. And then they throw in a Hail Mary. They say, who else could we get to play this guy? Viggo Mortensen. Not a lot of people know him. They're not going to associate him with any other previous character. And we think he's the man for the job. Mm-hmm. And the rest is history, as they say. As, yeah. And I'm seeing a similar parallel here, potentially, with Daniel. Right? They cast the role. Maybe Will Poulter was never cast as Elrond. I'm, this, this is pure speculation. I'm talking out That's of for sure. yeah, yeah, yeah. my backside, even though right. I'm in my dining room. Okay, yeah, yeah. I said it never uh-huh. happens, but here it is. Right. Um, so, so maybe he was never cast. I'm having so much fun, by the way. Maybe know, he too. was never cast as Elrond. All right, but maybe he was. And maybe they got into it and they realized, dude, either he realized or they realized it's just not going to be a fit. Maybe they both realized. They part ways. And then we had Daniel Wayman come in. And boom, there he is, a younger version of Elrond. Um, so I, I don't know. Like the, as much as we talked about this age being belonging to Sauron, right? Belonging to Anatar Sauron. It's it's his. He comes out. Well, not doesn't come out from under Morgoth. Morgoth is defeated or banished. You know, his legs are caught, chopped off, and they throw him into the void. Yep. Right. And so now Sar- Anatar Sauron is free to play. He uses his deception and his, um, his light form and his cunning nature to trick and connive and then bring Middle-earth under his control. So it is very much his age. But on the side of light, we have Galadriel, we have Gilgalad, we have Elrond. So yeah. in, in the same way, it is very much Elrond's age as well. This is, you know, yes, we, see the, we, we see the sort of the twilight years of Elrond, right? Like even his kind of refusal to, like, this isn't my war anymore. Like I fought my battles. Right. Right? That's true. Like I, I will help and counsel. I will help give advice. But my time as a warrior is over. Well, guess what? In the second age, we get to see his time as a warrior. Mm-hmm. We get to see his time as a warrior. As I bet Daniel Wayman's put on like 20 pounds of muscle. I'm, I'm just going to throw that out there. That's pure speculation. Well, um, yeah. What, yeah. Yeah. I, that's, that's all I really have. I mean, I, 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 me, just, I, think that it's, I think it's a strong case for Daniel to be our new Elrod. What do you think, man? I 100%, I 100% agree with you. Okay. And I'm so glad. I actually, we, we have not done this yet. So this is that was I had no idea that Lane was going to bring this up. No, like it's a no surprise, clue. I know. No clue I know. Surprise. I'm glad. I saw it on and, your face. You're getting fired up, maybe. Hey, can I tell yeah. you something real quick too? Yes, sir. I also toyed around with the idea before I landed on Elrod. I was like, you know what? Maybe they're going to have a young Gandalf or a different actor of Gandalf. Yeah, and then yeah. I thought to myself, you know what though? Gandalf isn't really a big player in the Second Age. No, no. Mm-mm. So it didn't make any sense. And I was like, right. who is a massive player? Right there, he is. Exactly. And, you know, the only thing I think you could see with, with Gandalf, just a quick aside, is is possibly if they do, if they show us anything in Valinor or there's any type of, like, Maiar presence or some odd kind of thing where... Yeah. Yeah, that, that's about it. But too really, small of a role for someone like Daniel. No, no, who's, no, 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 who's, no, no, Who's yeah, being... Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah and I don't, think, I don't think we're going to see Gandalf I don't, at all, at, at all in this, in this series. I don't yeah. think there's, there's a need for it, um, and they're not going to do it. But unless they show us, like, the very tail end of second going into third age... Ooh, but um, yeah. so interestingly, I, I just put up their Instagram page, their their Twitter, uh, Loader on Prime. He is the fifteenth out of fifteenth person that they announced, right? So he's the last oh, person that, that they announced. So you're oh. probably right in that, like, if this was someone who they said Will Poulter is, also you got to think about voice and command and and just things that sound and feel like absolutely like like he is a lore and, master. Elrond is a lore master. Yes. Wisdom flows from him. Yes, he has yes. to have that kind of the uh, commanding presence. Yeah, not and that Will doesn't, but if they are, if there's no. that big difference in age, it but might someone, come even more naturally with an older actor. I don't know. Absolutely, but and and also something something you want to I think you want to stay away from is sometimes if you shoot for if you err on the side of physical or, or um what's what's the word likeness sure like just their likeness I think sometimes you actually draw more comparisons than when you kind of split the difference and you go yes. for talent and also a similarity in looks. Um, 
I also think that uh, I think it was I can't remember if it was Christopher Michael, uh, one of our uppers, when his casting was confirmed, they brought up Midsummer. I, I think it's Midsummer, and his character gets like uh, it's pretty brutal what happens to his character in that film, and that's something that stuck with them and that they associated with Will Poulter. And he is kind of a pipsqueak in that movie. I've seen the movie. And that's also, you're right, that's also something you have to consider, like previous works. Because yeah. whether, whether we acknowledge it or not, we have a, a subconscious of, oh, I've seen this kid before. Oh, yeah, he was the kid who got his butt kicked. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. He was the kid who got, like, killed. Uh, he's Elrond? Okay. Yeah. And he was also the little whiny Eustace scrub in... It happens. It does happen. And Boys yeah. of the Don Shredder. And so, like, I think even whether, whether you realize it or not, you, you, you um, subconsciously make those associations. That's why, that's part of why Lord of the Rings was so beautiful, right? Because we didn't have many associations. Like, Viggo Mortensen, most people had never seen him in a film before. Yes. Um, Ian McKellen, most people had no idea who he was. And even people we did associate, it was like, Elijah Wood was in movies as a younger kid and was always endearing and people loved Elijah Wood. Mm -hmm. Sean Astin, the same thing. Goonies, right? Yeah. Rudy, like who isn't going to cheer for that guy? Like no, no roles before where you're like, eh, that's a bad association. Right. Orlando Bloom, Bloom, unknown. It was actually his first, I believe it was his first role that he filmed out of film school. Yeah. Um, Liv Tyler, you know, like the, the sweetheart in... Um, Armageddon, right? So good associations or virtual unknowns. If you have actors who you've got, mm, all right, well, I saw him in that movie. It, it, if it doesn't jive with Elrond-esque um, presence, sure. it, might not, it might not work. So Yeah, well, and like you said, if you have too many of those associations, the reason we accept um, Sean Astin and different, what, because there weren't so many other, when he's the only one where we're making that type of association to, to other movies, True. it's he doesn't, yes. in a whole cast, you know, Pippin and Mary, that ca those were great castings too. I mean, that so, yeah. And, and an act, I, I understand that also an actor's um, performance can overcome that, right? Like, oh, for sure. I, that, I that, rarely, yes. I rarely watch Hugo Weaving as Elrond and go, Mister Anderson. Like no, every never, once I, in a while, every I once never in a while, I, go, I think Mister yeah. Baggins. But it's very, very, I almost, I go, oh my gosh, yeah. He's Agent Smith. I totally forget that's about that because of his acting chops. And so, but if you right. don't have, if you don't have that, if you can't reach that level. And I'm not saying Will Poulter couldn't because Lord, he's a good actor. Absolutely. I mean, I will, yeah, like, yeah. He's an amazing actor, but maybe it just, the fit wasn't right. The chemistry wasn't right. You also got to think too, like whoever's playing Elrond has probably have to, probably has to have pretty good chemistry with, with Morpheth and with whoever they're casting is Gilgalad. Yep. And if that's not there as well, or maybe, I mean, again, we don't know why, could be we don't scheduling, know why could be Will anything. Poulter left. Yes. Yeah. It could, could have be been all anything. Sorts of stuff. Yeah. So, well, I, I like this call. My, yeah. I really like this call. And I, I just want to say one more thing about, about Al Ron. Get it, I, I the, these moments where he does defy Anatar in the second <laughs> age. <laughs> I, I, I mean, show me, show me that man. Show me Elrond standing in a room. Gosh. Hold on a second. Show me Lord Elrond standing yeah. in a room. Paint, with paint the picture, baby. Come on, Bob right? Ross. Let's go. He walks yeah. in, this fair being, right? He's supposed to be this like ambassador from Valinor, I know from the Valar. Who you are. He and he walks in and, and, there, and he's he's such this commanding presence. No one should oppose him, right? But yet these guys are there. They're looking out for their people. They're wise. He's <laughs> He was born in the first age. He knows. So, so it, to, to be that type of lore master and to be there counseling, uh, he's, a, he's a counselor to this king. And then he's charged, you know, Gilgalad then charges Elrond with going in and trying to stop Sauron physically. Later on, they will, they will, there will be a clash. And yeah. can you imagine if one of the seasons of, of this Lord of the Rings TV series ends with with um, Elrond leading his people into the valley. And you see it, and it's a safe haven that they, I mean, and it just opens up before us, and you just, and, he, and you, and you, and there are war torn people who are, or he's trying to gather, like they're, they're desperately trying to seek a safe haven. 
No, and, I can't. And at the end I, of the I want season, to, but I can't. At the end of the it's, season, they it would find be amazing. It. And we don't know, and if especially if you're someone who's a casual fan, you don't really know where they're going to or that they're about to establish that region, and you see them walk into a place that looks just like what we saw in Lord of the Rings, and you see that as Rivendell, and you go, oh my gosh. And the protections and the borders and things are, I mean, let's Dude, go. also also the visual of seeing them as like almost kind of refugees. Yes. In a way that we've never seen elves like that. For sure. Like that's a dwarven thing. We're used to seeing dwarves as homeless, having to fight fight to get back what is theirs. We right. have not seen elves like that. Like the elves are we're we're comfortable comfortable. We're comfortable. We're comfortable. We're content. We've fought our wars. We've got our spoils. Yeah. We're not looking to get involved. We're trying to get out of Middle Earth back to where we belong in Balanor. And that would be, I think it would only add to what we see in the trilogy, to what we see even in The Hobbit with the, with the elves. Wow. So here, well, okay, I do yeah. have a question for you. Yeah. So if, if Daniel, could Daniel be double cast? And here, here's my thing. Yeah. Will Daniel play Elrond and Elros? I was actually trying to think of a counter. Um, you know, I was trying to think of, of someone else that he could play. Because they're and twins. They're, and they're, they're twins. twin that's brothers. The only, that's the only other, other option. And that would be amazing that Can you imagine? Really so be... maybe maybe will couldn't handle that maybe will was like dude no no nah, nah, i just nope but maybe a theater actor background and i don't sure will might have been in theater i'm not bashing will please don't no 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 will is you not the one ring excited you were okay? super excited will is not have... the one oh my gosh i was yeah. and my heart was broken when i heard i was yeah. like dude i loved it because i loved that kid way back in voyage of the Don treader i just liked him Absolutely. And I thought, wow, the, the similarity visually is striking in appearance. Right. Like, it is surreal. I think we even posted on Instagram way back when it was announced a picture of young Hugo Weaving and a picture of – yeah. Uh, you go look it up. I mean, it's there. Like, we were amped. Um, but maybe, yeah, maybe that was something that he was uncomfortable with. And maybe it's something that Daniel goes, yeah, I'll play Elros too. Let's go, baby. Right. So a little – I, I want to close on this. This is um, – this has been a lot of fun, obviously. I, I hope yeah. I'm right. If I'm wrong, I hope I'm wrong, too. Like That would be yeah. cool as well. Um, but Elrond, actually, I don't know if any, many people know this. In the Fourth Age, he went back to Valinor, right? He, he, he sailed with uh, Frodo and Gladriel and all you know, Gandalf and that stuff. Mm-hmm. He actually started uh, the Church of Scientology there and, and changed his name to Elrond Hubbard. Um, no way yeah which is very interesting so and i think in the ocean he got sort of confused about aliens and our souls uh-huh. and stuff so elrond hubbard got um, it got it scientology that's so, a, that's a crazy fact that it's just another thing that tolkien put yeah. in there that uh, that led to our history uh-huh. or uh-huh. our history leading to our present and uh it, he's just uh, yeah jaron tolkien he's a Did, massive genius hey yeah. something else did you also know that he was he's a flat earther He's a flat earther. <laughs> Did you know he's flat? <laughs> there's no just, curvature. If you look out, it's there's no uh, curvature. He beg- like like he's one of those guys who came to it late in life and, and begrudgingly said, "All right, fine, I guess." You know, Ilavatar did shape the world eventually he was and the, turned it. You know. He was the guy. He was the guy who was kind of upset about the term Middle Earth. He wanted flat Earth. He was like, "Why right. middle?" Right. What's it's, above? What's below? It's right. It's <laughs> it's flatter. Right? Oh, we're hilarious. sailing forever. Totally kidding. Well, by the way, please do not. Yeah, uh, yeah, we're having fun. But this was a blast. Um, uh, tell us what you think. Go down in the uh, the comments. Will Daniel be Elrond? Um, will they announce Daniel as Elrond? Probably three days before we release this video. Yeah, and we'll look right. like we were not actually making a prediction. Right. That's what always happens to us. But anyway, um. Uh, hit the like, subscribe, you know, do the, the dingy bell for notifications when we release new videos. Drop and Eves has a home on YouTube. We love doing it this way. Um, we've got some more goodies coming up, so check out uh, our continued speculation. I mean, as I'm game to go through actors and actresses A to Z, man. Oh, we're going to. We're going wow. to. Wow. That is the plan. Yeah. We got uh, actually- to march through each of them. I was kind of hoping you were going to say, nah, it's a bad idea because um, now I'm intimidated. But anyway, um, stay tuned. More to come. I love being with you, brother. You know that? Dude, I love you too, man. This is great. It's so much fun, dude. What, what do they always say? Dude, here's what they say. They, when, when we talk about our good friend, you know, we're just hobbits. We got to remind folks 
Absolutely. We're just hobbits learning about the second age, trying to get into this. We want to have fun. Um, But there was a hobbit, right? There was a great (sighs) hobbit once, and his name was Bilbo, and he knows. 